This is a place no woman will ever want to be. There was never any, any fear, no concern for safety, anything like that. It was just these are more people that need to hear the truth. This is the Robert E. Ellsworth Correctional Center in Union Grove, a place where it's hard to find a bright spot in the day. People in prison have no illusions about themselves. They're completely open and they want to truly, really want to change. I just feel like I'm supposed to help them. Hello, hello ladies, how y'all doing? And that's exactly what Debbie Lassiter has done for the past 25 years. See, if we would be honest, a lot of us really shouldn't even be alive today. She's been to almost every prison in Wisconsin and gives the inmates something they don't get a lot of. Whatever they need as far as encouragement, giving them the word, praying with them, teaching them how to live practically that what they say they believe. And, and I feel like that's what I'm supposed to be doing. So saying I needed this. Okay. It's just, I needed that. Every month she comes to pray and gives hope to people who didn't have any left. My husband had divorced me after 18 years of marriage, but today I will be honest and said I spent probably my last 20 years addicted to drugs. Debbie says 75 percent of inmates will re-offend within three days of being released. God, I messed up. <laughs> I'm turning my back on it and I'm coming back where I'm supposed to be. So she started a resource center to help these women once they get out. There are a lot of resources out there to help women. They just are unaware of where they are. Debbie's never spent a day behind bars. She does this because it's her calling. I do it because I've devoted my life to Christ. And I believe that for each of us there is a plan. There's something that he wants us to do. And I believe that this is one of the things that he wants me to do. And for those of us that are incarcerated, to have someone on the outside that is willing to do all the legwork for us so when we come out, it's just, matter, okay, where can we go? It's a blessing. This is what my daughter wrote me. When Nicole McBroom was released, she didn't think she could make it on her own. And the first thing that came in was my criminal thinking because I had started seeing people that I had knew and they knew what I was capable of doing and and I wrote her and I said I'm scared and I need help and I feel like I'm falling weak and Debbie immediately helped her find furniture and more but she actually cared and you knew she cared find out God where you want me to be and get there the now she's where all these women pray to be out and free the Bible doesn't say you never did it says you used to be like this. Yes. Lisa Chan, Fox 6 News.